I guess you remember this page I created for listing tutors where I explained how you can create a menu like this that um, filters a listing below it without reloading the page using JetSmart filters, JetEngine and CrocoBlock um, or other plugins. I guess you remember that. So here I also want to show you something cool. So you might be thinking when I click on view profile, it's going to take me to a new page where we can see the profile of this particular tutor selected. But what if I tell you that clicking on one profile of a tutor will open just a pop up where you see the dynamic content of this particular tutor. Let me show you. So when I click on the view profile, you're going to see all the details of this tutor right here without going to a different page using the Ajax loading functionality. And also when I click on this one, you see it opens it and it's dynamically displayed. Also when I click on this, you can see it loads very fast and it looks aesthetically beautiful. Imagine what you can do with this. So I'm going to show you exactly how we can accomplish this using the Jet Pop-Up plugin and Emoji by Jet Engine. So just stay with me and let's just dive right in. So let's head onto our dashboard and let's uh, verify if our necessary plugins are already installed and activated. So we have Elementor, we have Jet Engine, and we also need Jet Pop Up plugin to get this functionality done. We don't really have it here installed, so let's go over to the Croco Block tab here, navigate to the Update and Installation tab click on it then you should see all the plugins you have the ability to install so you're just simply going to scroll down here and voila you can see just pop up then it hits install and the plugin has been installed so it's going to refresh a bit and we should see it here and we're going to hit activate plugin so now our plugin is installed and activated. So next, we're gonna activate one more thing and let's head over to Jet Engine here. Go to Jet Engine. Then we should activate a Jet Engine module called Dynamic Visibility. You're gonna see why in a bit. So make sure you have it activated. Gonna hit save and yeah, it has been activated already so all our tools are ready we already have the jet engine plugin itself we have the jet engine module dynamic visibility we also have elementor and jet pop-up plugin installed and activated so next we're gonna go ahead and create a pop-up so we're gonna head on to the jet pop-up tab here and navigate to create new pop-up and here we have this um, module open and we have um, a couple of options here. We have content type and we're just gonna hit Elementor since we're gonna be using Elementor to design the whole page. You can click on block editor if you are a Gutenberg freak or whatever, yeah. So next we're gonna give it a name, right? We're gonna give our jet pop-up a name. So we're gonna call this jet listing pop-up and we just go ahead and hit create but you have the option to choose a preset but but i'm just gonna create without a preset so i'm gonna hit and create and our pop-up has been created already so we have our editor open and here we begin to insert our dynamic widgets so we're gonna come here search for dynamic and we should see all the dynamic widgets so the first thing i'm going to be adding here is the dynamic image and why aren't we seeing an outro image that's because we are currently on a different kind of cpt and it's trying to find the thumbnail of this cpt which is the jet pop-up cpt so technically we're not going to see anything here until we apply it to the main page so just stay with me and you're gonna see it work on um the actual um listing but for now for the purpose of designing we're just gonna insert um a fallback or please so that image just to make sure we get the design right okay so i'm just gonna add um a fallback image here call back to format image and just add in this cute looking grandpa here and select and we should have the image pop up right here okay so that's awesome right and also gonna add um the tutor's name and some other information we need to know about the tutor so we're just gonna drag in the dynamic widget here 
dynamic and drag the dynamic field and here as you can see it's still displaying the title of this particular um cpt which is the jet pop-up cpt but i'm going to just um change this or oh, actually not I'm, I'm not gonna change this okay so the tutor's name is used as the title so i'm just gonna leave this as it is now i want to add other tutor um data like um the expertise i'm just gonna just gonna duplicate that and change the source and the object field so i'm gonna change the source to the meta data because um the expertise is added as a meta field and uh, um, CPT so I'm just gonna click on metadata here and change the meta field to expertise so of course we're not gonna see anything so we're just gonna add a placeholder here and call it um, um, tutors expertise so I'm just gonna do the same for other meta fields duplicate and give it the different one experience i'm just going to continue like this until i have all the data inserted here so just sit back and watch how i complete this um, jet pop-up and design this and i should be done in no time just watch Okay, so guys, here's something I want you to pay attention to. So, you recall we um, activated a module called um, Dynamic Visibility, right? So, here's where we're going to be needing it. So, as you can see, we have this label which is um, titled Offers Online Services. And um, what we want to do here is this in the post type, if the switcher, which is called virtual, if it is toggled on, then we're going to have this option displayed here. So so in order for us to do it, you're going to click on edit heading and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see dynamic visibility, click on it and we're going to enable it and we're going to say show this element if condition met. So let's set the condition. So what we're we saying is click on condition, what we're we saying is if the switcher is enabled, as you can see here, what switcher? Now, the switcher is a meta field. Now, we're going to come to dynamic tags and we're going to see custom field selected. And we're going to click that field called virtual. So, once this virtual is toggled on, then we should have this option visible here. Otherwise, it will be hidden so that's how it's gonna work so we have our tutor listing pop-up completely set up and designed so what we're gonna do we're gonna hit publish now so the next thing we're gonna do is head on to the jet pop-up settings here click on the settings and we're gonna come here to this drop down called settings click on it and watch closely what we're gonna do so um, the first option we have to toggle on is this part here that says loading content with ajax now this is very important you need to enable this um you're just gonna come here then toggle on this switcher now a different option is being displayed whether you want to first load the pop-up every time you click the trigger so what this means is when you click on that button again you want it to load with ajax every single time you open the pop-up so it's highly important you also enable this option so you kind of toggle this on and lastly we want to set our display conditions so we're going to click on edit and it should take us to our display conditions here should open this model here we want to display this pop-up on those pages where we have that listing 
so in our case we have the listing on our home page for now so we are simply just gonna um set this pop-up to only display on um the front page if we like we can set it to display on the entire page so regardless of where the listing is it's always gonna pop up so it's gonna display but because we only have the listing on our home page for now we're just gonna go with the singular so it only displays on the front page once we're done with setting our visibility conditions here we are going to come right here and click save conditions so now our condition is saved i have no idea why we have multiple pop-ups here so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this particular one trash okay so now we have just one pop-up okay so we have just one pop-up so we're working with just this pop-up so the next step is to go to our listing so we're gonna come here to the jet engine listing then you're going to navigate here to listing and components. So you're going to see the listing that was created and we're going to hit edit with Elementor. So here we should be directed to the um, editor. So our main target here should be this button. So this button is going to add like the trigger to open the pop up on the front page. So we're going to edit just this button. So we're going to click on edit button. Then we're going to set the link to hash, you know, just have this there. All right. Not really necessary though. And we're going to go over to advanced. Now under the advanced setting, we're going to scroll down and we can see the jet pop up um, accordion here. So we're going to click on it and you can see the attach pop up field. So we're going to click on this attach pop up field and attach the pop up that was created for this listing. So we're going to search pop up and we click on this tutorial listing pop up here. Now the trigger type we can say we can click on widget to click on button but let's just go with the default setting all right click on widgets just gonna leave this as it is and it's highly important that you have this option here jet engine listing pop-up toggled on very important so you're gonna click on yes and it should work like you're basically done at this point so now let's test if it works so you're gonna hit on publish and we're gonna go to the home page where we have the listing and refresh the page and it should work now we're gonna click on view profile voila we already have the dynamic um values in here we have the image we have the name the area of expertise the years of experience and the hourly rate here amazing right so we're just gonna click on cancel and try and open another one and as you can see it's super fast faster than going to a different page to see their details and click on cancel click on a different one awesome click awesome so i discovered the pop-up has this sharp edges corners i'm not really a fan of that so i'm just gonna come here and um updates to changes here i don't know why it didn't work the previous time so i'm just gonna come back to style um come to a um, pop-up container and then change the border radius let's say i think fixing is fine i'm just gonna update it once more i'm gonna click on publish and come back to the home page and then refresh and we should have the updated um design of the pop-up here so i'm gonna click on view profile voila this is a lot more better and aesthetically beautiful right so um my previous video i explained how you can create menus like this to filter the current listing to give you the selected category you chose just like this and it loads without redirecting to a different page so at the top right corner of your screen you should find the link and you can just click the link to um, go to that particular video if you want to understand how this was done i think it's pretty cool right we're basically done and it looks amazing view profile and it just loads and it 
looks absolutely beautiful so if you want to see more tutorial videos like this please do well to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button and if you need more clarity or you need to understand something or you just have you no know, some questions or you just want to give a comment please do well to leave a comment in the comment section please do well to share this post as well all right people have a great one i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video until then Bye for now.